Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I've been gone for quite some time, but I have good reasons for it. As you can see from the title, it is a uh, pregnancy vlog. Woo! And I am now in my second trimester. I'm about 22 weeks, but I just thought it would be really useful to film my experience um, and you know, take you through what I went through during my first trimester. I went through my first trimester just looking up people's pregnancy vlogs and seeing what they went through. Bearing in mind every pregnancy is different, every woman's different, your body's different to mine. So my symptoms necessarily will not be yours. I didn't have any morning sickness and you would have had in like incredible morning sickness exertion or whatever you know I'm just gonna I'm just gonna talk you through what I went through during my first trimester and I hope you guys find it useful my second trimester vlog will be coming up soon um, for all the details of what's on this space I have put it in the description box below. So I think we should get on with the vlog now. The first three months, um, your first trimester, are the most important, um, is the most important period in your pregnancy. Of course, your second trimester and your third trimester are equally important, but your first is where you need to be really careful about what you do, what you um, you know, what you eat, um, how stressed out you are, you just need to keep everything on a level and as healthy as you can. Um, the first month of your trimester is when, correct me if I'm wrong, I am not an expert, I am not a midwife, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a qualified medical expert in any shape or form, but this is what I know from what my midwives and my doctor said. The first month is where the placenta's forming, where your amniotic sac's forming, um, so that will take a lot of your energy and you will find yourself wanting to sleep for about 12 to 14 hours a day, which is fine because that is what your body needs, so please just listen to your body. Um, during my first trimester, it, I was tired all the time. All the time I would wake up at 8 o'clock and from a great night of sleep and I would have probably got about eight to nine hours of sleep which is perfectly enough for a normal human being but when you're pregnant your uterus takes over I just had no energy for anything I would wake up, my shower would be like about five minutes, would not do my hair, I, the whole shower, the whole, the five minutes of being in the shower just felt like a lifetime in there. I, with food, I just went off dairy products, like tea was just the vilest thing you could ever offer me and cheese, and um, bread, and my taste buds were just all over the place. I found out I conceived in um, July, I believe, yeah, July, and it was summer in London, so it was quite hot, and hot weather just did not bode well with my pregnant, <laughs> my first trimester. I was just turning down food, I would gag, I was never, I never had morning sickness, I still don't have morning sickness, um, nothing makes me want to throw up or anything like that, or nothing made me want to throw up in my first trimester, all I was craving was watermelons, um, honeydew melons, I was craving fruits and green beans and like really cooling foods for your body. My body was getting so heated up 
it was just unbelievable. My hair was falling off, I was getting breakouts everywhere. If you can tell my scars, my pregnancy acne scars here, because um, yeah, my skin was going crazy. I would, I'm sorry guys, I've got my notes written in this little um, notepad, so I'm just referring back to it, that's why I keep looking down. I don't want to miss out any vital information about my first trimester. I did not like the smell of barbecue, I did not like the smell of the gas station, um, I did not like the smell of anything that had a lot of flavour in it. I just wanted plain, raw fruits and vegetables. I did, although I did have a craving for salt. It was driving me insane because normally I don't need to add salt in my food or extra salt anywhere I go. My first three months, salt was just the main ingredient, salt and black pepper in everything and Diet Coke. Since becoming pregnant, Diet Coke is my drink of choice and I try, I tend to not gravitate towards it but I don't know what it is, I don't know if it's um, the carbonated element in it that my body is craving or I'm really not sure what that is. Maybe the limited amount of caffeine, I don't know. I have been craving Diet Coke, like really chilled Diet Coke, just so weird because I was never the kind to have Diet Coke unless I went to like, I don't know, a burger joint or something like that and I needed something fizzy to go with my burgers but that was rarely i'm quite a healthy eater easing myself was such a pain in the ass like like yeah excruciating pain basically i know if it's too much information you can click this off and go away and watch whatever else you want to but i think it's a very common problem in pregnancy Okay, easing one's self. It's not alarming. It's a very common problem in pregnancy. Like, But like I said, I had that you probably wouldn't have. I was in so much pain. But it does go away. And, um, okay, I don't know how to say this word. I don't know how to pronounce it, so don't judge me. It's basically to do with a hormone called progesterone, progesterone, and I will link all the details of um, the information down below in the description box so you guys can have a little read if you are going through that. Don't be alarmed because it does go away and then, you know, eventually you'll be going to the toilet like an easy wheezy butterfly, so don't worry. Also, what did help me get through that was eating a lot of fiber, uh, foods with fiber in it, like oats. Like, I had oats thrice a day. Um, not because I'm crazy, but because I was just liking that whole, like, fibrous, um, and the, consist the gloopy consistency and I would make my oats the previous day and just shove it in the fridge and then the next morning I would dilute it with either some um, low fat yogurt or some milk and add some fruits, some bananas, some blueberries, some nuts, um, some cinnamon and have a lush lush breakfast and it works as a dessert, it works as a really healthy in after lunch snack. So it's always good to make a little pot, pot of it and put it in the fridge so you guys don't starve, you and the baby. And you are feeding yourself relatively healthy food. I'm not saying don't have cravings, you just do what your body's asking you to do. So, um, yar. That was my little issue, my little bathroom issue. And then, of course, your first consultation. I don't know if I'm going too fast, let me know. 
Okay, I've got three minutes left. Um, after my first consultation, um, oh, 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 hold on. Folic acid. The day you find out you're pregnant, start taking folic acid. But consult with your midwife or your GP or your doctor or, yeah, whoever your specialist is. Um, my first consultation, I started taking folic acid the day I found out I was with a child and I am still taking folic acid now because after my first consultation, my midwives gave me a, um, a bottle of 60 or 90, um, vitamins, A, B, C, D, and E mixed with a little bit of folic acid and um, they asked me to take that and once I was done with that they said continue with your folic acid um, till the bottle runs out really so that's what I'm doing and I think it's really important that you guys take your vitamins every day because certain foods that you probably don't like like I don't know like you go off milk that's calcium um, you need to make sure you have those vitamins to substitute for any, you know, um, vitamins you're not taking. Like, I don't like citrus fruits, so I resorted to taking the pills because they were inducing vitamin C for me and my baby. And it's important that you make sure you take your pills. Vitamins. Um, hydrate. I found myself drinking two and a half bottles this size, which is two liter bottles. Um, so I was drinking about four and a half liters of water every day. I just found myself dehydrated all the time and just wanting nice, a nice pint of water every couple of hours um, so make sure you're hydrating yourself all the time um, because you are equally going to be peeing all the time so it's good to just keep that rotation going it's healthy and yeah my first month was horrendous 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 we would go out and I would just not make an effort I was all over the place my body was falling apart, my back was like gloopy jello. Literally, you could just poke me in the back and I would cry. It was, it was a pain I have never felt before. Um, but eventually it does get better, but you need to start doing your pelvic exercises, which I say I have done, like I do, I have done, but I need to be consistent with it. Another thing I went through was this massive guilt um, for not taking care of myself, for letting myself go, for not being interested in the things that I used to be interested in, like, um, blogging and reading up about stuff and um, you know just having abundance of energy that I used to have. I'm normally a ball of energy. I'm always up for things. I'm like I'm always like yeah we should do this, we should do that, we should do this. Um, but my first trimester it was I was just like I'm gonna stay in my PJs. What you gonna do? We're going out, babe. Do you want to go out? Yeah. I will get into my gym clothes, get into my Nike trainers, put my hair up in a bun. No makeup, nothing. Just a jacket, and I'm like, I'm ready. Yeah, it's not a good look. Not a good look. When you're really exhausted and you've got dark circles, you haven't brushed out your eyebrows and I do, I am the kind of person that will make an effort if I'm in the right frame of mind. At that time, all I wanted to do was, you know what, I don't want to talk to people, I don't want to 
Go out. <sighs> Sorry. I don't want to go out. Um, I don't want to talk to people. Just leave me alone. I just want to sleep. Um, if you find yourself doing that, just don't feel guilty because that's what your body needs. And the last thing you want to do is exert yourself in the first three months because, let's be honest, those are the critical months of your pregnancy and most miscarriages do happen in the first trimester. So just, you know, take care of yourself. If you want to just sleep all day, sleep all day, who cares? Cravings. I did not go through any except for when I said all I wanted was um, fruits and vegetables. So um, really cooling fruits and vegetables like cucumbers and tomatoes and melons and bananas and um, apples. Although saying that, apples did kind of dehydrate me. So I would steer clear of them unless I'm having it in a bowl with other vegetables like berries and peaches and satsumas and stuff like that. Um, I think that's pretty much it for my first trimester. So it wasn't that bad to be honest. Um, but at that time, every day was moving so slowly and I was just like, come on, roll on, second trimester, I want to see the bump, I want to feel him or her, I want to, um, yeah, I want to start bonding with my baby. Um, I started feeling flutters in my first trimester itself. Um, it's like butterflies in your stomach but just really, really intense and in bursts of seconds. Um, it's something I don't know how to describe that well, but everyone that is going through pregnancy right now, you would have felt a flutter and it's just, it's just insane. It's just amazing. Um, so yeah, I am enjoying my pregnancy and I would really, really highly suggest you embrace the changes your body is going through because it's the most beautiful time in your life and you're transforming into a nurturer so embrace it and enjoy every second of it because um once they're here it's gonna be a lot of work lots and lots of work you're gonna have this beautiful little thing at the end of your pregnancy and it's just gonna change your life. It will be difficult, it's not going to be a cakewalk because um, they have a mind of their own. They Their body clock runs to feeding time and pooping time. So um, I'm looking forward to it, I don't mind. And don't feel guilty about getting a lot of sleep, getting a lot of um, rest because you are gonna need it. Um, and um, indulge in a little bit, you know, take care of yourself, go shopping, um, go uh, meet your friends, you know, go dancing, go to a jazz festival if you can, do whatever you would do when you weren't pregnant, except just don't drink, um, don't smoke, and, um, or have a drink a week, which I think is okay. I mean, they say it's okay. Um, and yeah, just enjoy your pregnancy. And I just wanted to wish everyone that is going through it, those that have found out that you're pregnant, congratulations, ladies, and um, enjoy all of it. And embrace yourselves and fall in love with yourselves and that little thing in you, so. Good luck with everything, and I will see you in my second trimester vlog. Mwah.